your live Super Doppler 4 HD weather forecast. Another gorgeous day today. High temperature reached uh, 76 degrees, very close to where it should be for this time of the year. Far from the record highs or the record lows on this date. At the Asheville Regional Airport, uh, 45 the low this morning, pretty close to where it should be for this time of the year. By the way, upper 30s in some of the mountainous areas of North Carolina, not just North Carolina, but even South Carolina and northeastern Georgia, uh, 38, 39 degrees. So pretty chilly this morning, but pretty close to where it should be. 71 degrees are high this afternoon so far. Live shot looking over uh, Portman Marina and Lake Hartwell, and it is just beautiful outside. 77 in Hartwell, 76 degrees in Anderson, 76 right now in Greenville, 73 in Spartanburg, then 77 Lawrence, Greenwood also in Newbury, and in Hartwell, and in Athens, and in Andrews, and now it's 70 in Hendersonville, and also in Asheville. Humidity level is not extremely high, but also not extremely low, just perfect weather outside right now. A nice breeze outside of the mountains out of the northeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour, especially in Abbeville, Anderson, and also in through downtown Greenville. 81 in Columbia right now. Still holding steady at 88 degrees in Hilton Head, 77 degrees right now in Atlanta. So we have the slow moving cold front coming in from the west. High pressure locked in in the eastern half of the country, which includes us. And then we have this disturbance down here through the islands. And we'll talk more about that in just a second. Cooler conditions uh, behind the front. And that's what's going to arrive for us, but probably not until we get into the end of this week. So ahead of it, it's very warm. 83 in Kansas City, 82 in Oklahoma City, 60 right now in Denver. 43 degrees currently in Billings, Montana. So the cooler weather from the northeast, 63 in Houston, kind of sliding down for us. But then we have this big warm up to our west, which is going to push across our area as we head toward the end of this week. Track of the tropics, it's October. Remember, hurricane season doesn't officially end until the end of November. In October, we normally start to look down in through the Caribbean, and that's where we're going to have to look out for over the next several days into the week. And I'll talk more about that in just a second. First of all, we have the system uh, that's just offshore. It's really uh, to the southeast of Miami and Fort Lauderdale. Only a 10% chance of this actually developing into anything tropical because of the fact it's going to go through a lot of wind shear. But it is producing some very heavy rain in the islands. And some of this could actually drift toward southern Florida over the next several days. And then our main focal point is the system down here in the southwestern Caribbean. This now has a 60% chance for the National Hurricane Center of developing into a tropical depression or a tropical storm over the next five days as it kind of drifts off to the north and northwest. It could eventually get itself into the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, the American and computer and the uh, European models are starting to move it toward Louisiana or toward the panhandle of uh, Florida as we get into the end of this weekend and early next week and then pushing it up into our area. So we could be talking about some tropical rain showers beneficial rains. We do need rain badly, uh, but we could see even some bursts of some heavier rain Sunday night into Monday. It really depends on the track of the system. You can see how far south it is, but either way, I think we'll see but the combination of the cold front coming in and that tropical system could produce some pretty good rains for us starting on Sunday and into Monday and Tuesday of next week. Otherwise, tonight, clear to partly cloudy skies and cool, low temperature 56 degrees. Again, watch out for valley fog developing in the mountains. That'll burn off by mid-morning tomorrow. Uh, plenty of sunshine, high 74 degrees in the mountains, upper 70s in the upstate. Looking pretty nice, so some beautiful fall weather. Uh, warmer on Thursday and Friday, as you can see, and then warmer, a little more humid conditions. Saturday and Sunday and now those rain chances could increase or even decrease over the weekend depends on the track of that tropical system to our south. It certainly bears watching you and I'll certainly keep you updated.